With the whole Unity drama that happened, it has opened up game developers' eyes to try out new game engines and not put all their eggs in one basket. There are of course well-known game engines such as Unreal, Godot, GameMaker, but we can go deeper. PowerPoint, an application that was released all the way back in 1987 and for ages has been used by presenters, teachers, and students as a presenting platform. But today, I want to push this application's limit and try to recreate the most iconic game that has changed the way we see video games today, Doom. The original game released in 1993 and now in today's day and age, it has been memed to run on almost anything. Like seriously, this is Doom running on a calculator powered by potatoes. But you may be wondering how I'm even gonna make a game in PowerPoint and that's a great question. That I'll answer, but I'm not even the first person who's tried pushing PowerPoint to its limits before. There are people using it to make crazy illustrations, animations, and graphic designs with it. The way that animations work is by having each slide as a frame and then just letting the slideshow present quickly, which makes the animations play through. But that still doesn't answer how we can make a game with it. So first, let's do some investigating. After some research, it seems like the key features that are going to help us are interactive features in PowerPoint called actions and triggers. Actions and triggers allow a slideshow to execute specific tasks upon clicking or hovering over elements within the slide. When searching for games made in PowerPoint, I came across a lot of educational based games such as memory ones where the answer is behind the shape and you can move the shape to see if you guess right. But I want to see if games not related to school from teachers were made and so after some more research, I found a video by Icoso called Making a Game in PowerPoint where his is a maze game where you move your cursor around. The way he does this is to have action set up for your mouse over on the walls which takes you to a loose slide. For the obstacles, he puts animations on the shapes to make the maze more difficult. Another interesting game was made by Polymars, where in his video, he faces off Icoso to make a game in PowerPoint. Polymars' game is about defending an egg by clicking on incoming flying birds. A really cool PowerPoint game I came across was Emeralds in his video called I Made a VR Game with PowerPoint. He remakes Beat Saber and cleverly embeds videos into his slides, which makes it seem that the player is traveling forward and uses After Effects to have the objects fly in and to have a camera shake effect. So now that we've seen what's out there, let's start making Doom. The first order of business was to just make a main menu. So I took an image of what the Doom main menu looked like and set up some text with an action to go to the next slide. Simple enough. So if you guys don't know, there are four so-called episodes in Doom where each episode contains multiple levels around the same theme. I'm thinking for this, I can have a level that represents each episode and have a boss fight at the end. To do this, I scattered on YouTube watching gameplay to get specific screenshots to represent each episode where the screenshot didn't have enemies in it because for the enemies I have an idea that I'll get to around trying soon so after watching more gameplay that I'd like to because sometimes I just started procrastinating watching the gameplay for fun but I was able to get a screenshot of a level from episode 1 knee deep in the dead episode 2 the shorts of hell episode 3 inferno and episode 4 die flesh consumed for episode 4 I had to hop in photoshop and clean up some of the image because there were some items in front of the player as well as the enemy in the corner which was the lost soul enemy and i'll come to choosing a level for the boss later for the gameplay at first i was trying to think of a way of somehow using videos to make it interactive because i didn't want enemies to just be static images but nothing was coming to mind until i had a brilliant idea to use gifs 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 however you want to pronounce it for episode three's level i found a gif of the enemy the lost soul and set up an action to make it go to the next slide and have an animation of zooming up close to you so it makes it seem like the skull is flying toward the player. I set a slide timer of 2 seconds to go to the next slide but the next slide is game over slide. So essentially the player gets 2 seconds to cook the skulls. And so I just repeated this a few times and got a basic gameplay loop going. Though I still felt like some of the game feel was missing and so I was digging through gifs of the enemy and found its death animation. So now instead when clicking the enemy it links to the slide that has a gif of the explosion and the slide transition time is set to less than a second which allows it to smoothly transition to the next slide where the next enemy appears. To add even more mm, we needed a sound effect for the explosion and so I found a video that has the original doom sound effects and ripped the explosion 
and sound right out of it and just had to add the audio to the slides where the explosion gifs were so now the game feels much better the next enemy i added was the kako demon which i was able to find a gif for but it had a background on it so i had to use a gif background remover tool since i couldn't find a death to gif for the kako demon i ended up using the same explosion gif from the lost soul enemy and so the setup for this enemy was similar to the previous one next i was able to find a gif of the enemy called the zombie man which is a person shooting a weapon luckily his death animation was a part of the gif and so i was able to cut the gif up and use two shots as the attack animation and death as a separate slide so pretty much you have to till his second shot to click on him or else it's game over for you also found sound effects from youtube of him shooting and his death sound i took the shoot sound to premiere pro to space it out so that it can be one mp3 file and the sound can line up perfectly to what the gif has for the next level, that image had a dead enemy in it, so I had to use some of my Photoshop magic again to clean up the image. After spending more time cleaning up the image than I'd like to, I found a GIF of the enemy called Imp in Doom, and since the enemy is melee, I added the zoom animation to it to make it seem like it's moving closer to the player, similar to how the flying enemies were done. I also couldn't find a death to GIF for this enemy, so I had to resort back to the explosion GIF that I had. And so, after doing the tedious work of linking the slides appropriately again and placing every Everything in place, it was finally time to work on the boss. But before we do, making real games involves programming, and if you're looking for an easy way to learn, you're in luck because Brainland.org is the best place to learn interactive math science, and computer science. Brilliant is designed to be fun and interactive with thousands of created lessons that take you from beginner to advanced easily. I decided to go through the algorithms and data structures course to touch up on my skills and I was pleasantly surprised that the course is very engaging and interactive with puzzles and multiple choice questions. I highly recommend it to whether you're a student or a professional. You could try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for full 30 days by visiting brilliant.org slash usmandev or by clicking the link in the description. Be among the first 200 to sign up and you'll receive a 20% discount on the annual premium subscription. Thank you, Brilliant. In terms of bosses, the ones I can choose from in the original game is the Baron of Hell, which are these two enemies that can shoot green spells out of their hand. The Cyber Demon, which is more classically known as a boss and is a creature that shoots rockets out of a machine strapped to its hand. And finally, the Spider Demon, which is a gigantic brain-like creature on mechanical legs with a powerful machine gun. So I was on the search for gifs for these bosses and the best one I found was a cyber demon that included its death animation as well. First, I found an image for the level where the cyber demon is fought. Since it included the cyber demon inside the image, I used some Photoshop magic again to clean up the image and have a clean slate. Then I cut up the GIF into its shooting and death animation. I made it so that the player needs to keep clicking the cyber demon and you only have 1.3 seconds to do so or else it's game over for you. And finally, after shooting the cyber demon many times, get the death animation to play for it. The final touch was to add background music for the whole presentation and I was able to find this non-copyright Doom theme track. And so I present to you Doom in PowerPoint.